My issue was I was building a house with very, very limited financial means. And one of the big expense was to, of course, equip the house with uh, air conditioning system. Uh, it was expensive, about $3,200, two machines, sl split system, you know, where you have the compressor outside of the house and uh, the, the air conditioning si uh, machine in the house, you know, um, uh, on the ceiling. Not only it's ugly, but it's expensive. Uh, you need a technician to install it. It takes about 10 days, let's say, you know, to be frank, it does, it's not a one day job. Um, to really, really put it in place. Um, and then uh, it, it was, uh, it would consume a lot of uh, power. And of course it was absolutely not ecological. So it was the beginning. And then my idea as always is to do something cheaper than the con conventional stuff, sorry, easier to fix than the conventional stuff. And um, so something that is ecological in the end. And what I was able to do was to make a system that anybody can make in any house. Even if you have a small apartment and you're in the city, you can put this on your balcony and have it for very cheap. We are talking here about $200 only. Uh, first of all, do you know uh, these small air conditioning machines on wheels uh, that you buy in supermarkets or um, hardware stores? and um, the hot air goes through a tube uh, that you connect to the window. These machines usually don't cool anything. It's not even enough for a small restroom, to be frank. It's true. Um, but uh, with this machine that I bought for here for about $170, super cheap, um, I install this machine outside, you know, so you can install it on your balcony. And at the back there is, you have a little, um, normally you have like a water coming out and then um, I just let the water go, you know, or you can just close the tap and then the water is evaporated by the machine itself. So no water leakage. So that's really a good start. It consumes only 900 watts to 950 watts. It is 12,000 BTU for the technicians here, and um, uh, which is not a lot. Uh, I will need about 24,000 BTU to cool down my house of 90 square meters. So it was a, b a wrong start. But one day, uh, I don't. I'm an entity engineer, huh, by the way. I have a PhD in mistakes. <laughs> That's all what I say. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And one day. It works and uh, I understand why after. <laughs> but I've seen something amazing done by uh, an African uh, guy um, who won the Rolex uh, award. Um, he made with some uh, pots and a little bit of water and sand, um, a sort of fridge uh, that keeps the meat and the vegetables for a longer time. And my idea was, wait a minute, that's very interesting because the water evaporates from the, the, the pots with the air, they cool down and they sweat like us, like our skin. We sweat because we want to get cooler, right? And um, the, the pot gets cooler, the sand gets cooler, and what's inside gets cooler. So instead of just making a pot and put some vegetables and meat inside, my idea was, let's cut the, the bottom of some pots, pile them on, on, uh, on top of each other, make a sort of tower, and inside I'm gonna pour some sand and run a tube and run some water outside and inside and it should get cooler. And it became cooler. And le uh, let me show you what it is. So I'm removed myself from this amazing <laughs> net. I'm trying not to fall down because I'm about five meters uh, higher from the ground here. And today I have this that we all know now. Um, and this is what I'm talking about. This is uh, the, the tower. So you see it's um, um, terracotta pots that you would find in the garden shop. I just turned it on about an hour ago. And you see, I, I cut the bottom of uh, the, the pots, put a little bit of concrete and then pile them up. So the people who have um, a balcony will say, well, I cannot put this ugly thing because it's not super beautiful. Uh, I think you can find something may, maybe a little bit more cool. Uh, but what I want to say is that you can put them horizontally on, um, on the balcony and this will work. And um, and you just need at the bottom of that tower to put like a recipient, you know, to, uh, to uh, collect the water and then run the water on top uh, with a small aquarium pump, for example. So there's no leakage to your neighbors, okay? So these kind of things, you can do it in one, one sun, Sunday, uh, Sunday morning. You go by the pots, you cut the pots uh, 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 at lunch, 
after lunch time uh, with uh, your partner, you put it up, put the sand inside, boom, it's done. So how does it work? First of all, let's touch this. Uh, you gotta touch it, so I will switch on my uh, amazing device. Right now, it's about, you see, about, I hope you see 32 degrees. Uh, that's the temperature, okay? Now, let's aim at the, the, the tower here. Okay, you see it's about 29, 26. I'm trying to, uh, to put it on the area which has water because it's the area, of course, that is the cooler. And the more we go down, it's 29, then probably we're gonna go 28. Yeah, you see 28, and then we get a cooler 28.5. What I mean is we have a difference of, of about three degrees. And this three degrees uh, difference, you find it between the, the entrance of the, the, the air and the exit of the air. Um, three degrees of cold is a huge amount of energy, really huge amount of energy. And with this, uh, this amount, which adds about 9,000 BTU, I come to 24, 22,000 uh, BTU. Uh, yes, is it? Uh, 12,000? 12, 12, yeah, 21,000, sorry, BTU. Which is fair enough and near uh, what, I, what I need for my house. But with only 900 watts per hour, I save about 2,000, 2,400, 2,500 watts uh, per, per hour. Uh, I save with the price here, uh, we are in Thailand, uh, of the electricity. Um, I reimburse uh, the, the, uh, the, I start to win money in about six months and I reimburse my full system in a year and a half and I start to win money after a year and a half and this system you have here runs for more than three years. It's, we had no problem. Uh, if it breaks down, let's say, let's say it breaks down. Uh, it's connected to this machine, uh, the, the, the electrical machine. I'm going to show you the, the, the standard air conditioning system. You just take it off on wheels because I just connected at, you know, at the back of this machine, you have the, where the hot air goes out, okay? Normally, this connects to the window, so the hot air goes out of the house. Here, we just let the hot air go into the nature. The cool air, you just take some duct tape, super easy duct tape. Uh, I really wanted to make it stupidly not beautiful, and, but uh, uh, easy. And you connect uh, um, an aluminum pipe that maybe you'd see at the top here. You know the aluminum pipe we use for um, the uh, water heater, you know, in, in, in Europe. This uh, accordion uh, and then the, the one that stretches, you know, uh, flexible. And why aluminum? Because it has a very good heat exchange. You connect that at the exit of the machine, you know, at the exit of the grill, where the cold air goes out to your tower and to your house. And um, this is it, really this is it. Uh, and I like this, you know, it's, this is the, the things I want people to know about. And let me show you the machine because I put it over there. And you, you see, that's my machine. And then this is the connection I've done at the top. Really like a super easy machine. You know, the one on wheels. I'll show you maybe later on some comments. I will put, put them. Uh, the picture of the machine I'm talking about, the, really the, the cheap machine on wheels that you um, uh, that you buy at the supermarkets, you know, it's a, they call that portable air conditioning uh, unit or a mobile uh, air conditioning unit. Now I want to show you where the um, cold air goes in. Of course, let's see that. And this is interesting too. Um, the cold air should never um, exit from the top. It's a big problem. You see here, this is my ceiling, and that's where the unit, the normal conventional unit should have been, you see? Would have been ugly, so the cold air would have been there, and then fall down and become more hot, and then when it, 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 it is on the floor, it starts to be hot and go up to the, to the, to the ceiling and it's blocked. And usually we make exits, I don't know why, at the bottom of the walls and then it will go under the, the doors or something like this. Here is totally different. Here is my exit, my air intake, uh, let, let's say. Um, the, the, the cold air comes from here. This is a little sensor that you buy uh, on the internet, very easy. It's a 
IR infrared uh, sensor. You find it on any um, any internet platform, Amazon, eBay. And um, when you have your remote, you can um, uh, activate the remote from here. This is the sensor. It will send through the cable the signal to the machine. And on the machine, you have the, the same one, which are emitters, which are going to relay the, the new information and the, you, you, you have on your, um, on your remote control. So the remote control works exactly as if the machine was here, okay? And then you just plug that little device with a USB uh, key, you see, um, uh, here. Let's see here at the exit. Right now, um, we have, you see, 21 degrees. That's the temperature I have now. And inside, now let's see, because it's gonna be a bit difficult. But yeah, I don't know if you see, we have 14 degrees, 14.6, 14.3, 14, ah, 13 even, you know? Thir oh, yeah, 13, oh, 12, it goes down. 12, 11, it gets cooler. Well, let's see 11 degrees. Do you remember outside? 33 degrees. 33 degrees, 32 degrees, 11 inside. That's a huge difference. But inside, at the exit, of course, of, uh, of the, 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 the air supply. Um, but inside the, the, the room here is 21, 22, and I turned on the machine only one hour ago. With a conventional system, it would take an hour and a half to be uh, the same temperature. Only 900 watts, you follow me? So the air comes from the bottom here, at the bar on the floor, and the hot air goes up. So where the hot air should go? At the top, here. I made a, a sorry, it's difficult to, uh, to um, show you with my hand. Uh, it's a thermite house. So it mimics the, the a thermite house. Uh, sorry, very long hair from the confinement. Um, it, the, the thermites uh, hate heat. So they are very smart, nature of course is very smart, and this house mimics the thermites. Um, the, 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 um, the cold air goes, goes from the bottom of the thermite house up the thermite house to the top, where they have a small air exit, and um, it's always ventilated and fresher than uh, the outside. The thermites invited, inv invented that, and that's what I'm doing with this house. The, the hotter it is outside, the, the more pressure we're going to have here, the more it's going to suck on the, the air supply and help my small machine. It will um, regulate itself. And, and when this, uh, this air conditioning system is turned off, let's say for a long time, here, and we are in a tropical island, Kopangan, Thailand, uh, it's about 80%, 90% humidity. It's always dry. This wood, this wood floor is always dry. It smells wood, uh, almost like if you were in a sauna, if you understand the, the, the kind of smell I'm talking about. And the air is really, really nice on the lungs. So you don't have this cold air coming on your chest, making you cough and making you sick. Um, and it, the, 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 the temperature and the, is perfect without turning on the, the, the machine, without turning on the air conditioning machine. And if you want, you can even, Put the machine on air mode, which is fan mode, and no compressor. It will consume only 150 watts, and um, it will be about three degrees cooler the, the on the outside uh, on the on the um, on the air supply. But because the, this house is very isolated, we're gonna have about naturally like this about eight degrees less than outside, just like this with fan. It's amazing, really amazing, and we're talking about two hundred dollars. Right, two hundred dollars with the pots, one day of work. You can fix it yourself. Um, for me, this is ecology. Uh, it's free money. Who says no to free money? Um, uh, even forgetting about the ecological part, this is really, really good. And most of these machines, to reassure you, because I know what you're gonna say, but I think the same as you. Uh, well, the machine is a normal machine and, and has a, um, refrigerant uh, gas inside. Yes, 
but most of the time it's R32, uh, which is a, a gas which is not bad for the uh, ozone layer. And you can take the machine yourself, and here we can recycle machines very easily and very well in Thailand, very properly, since only a few years ago, but uh, it's working very well. And this machine will not pollute the environment. Yes, we can do better. We can always do better, and I did better. And this is the subject of another video, which video has its own episode. It's a Canadian well, but because we, the ground is full of rocks here, I put this Canadian well into a permaculture pump, freshwater pump, which harvests rainwater from our land. Oof, I, I got you lost. We are, I have to show you this beauty. It is amazing. 